Hello everybody, this is Gamergar and welcome back to another video of Stardew Valley. For today's video I'm going to show you how to get all the golden walnuts that Ginger Island has to offer. So let's jump into the video and have some fun. So once we land at Ginger Island here, the first thing we have to do is just run up here and take a right. We're going to go into the next zone, this is the east zone. There's a bush here with a golden walnut, it's a nice easy one to start off with. The next golden walnut we're going to get is in a tree here in Leo's house. We just have to hit the tree a few times with an axe and a golden walnut will pop out for us. The next one is, a, is in a hidden section just over here to the right. And this is the gem bird shrine and we'll do the gem bird quest later on. But just down here to the south there's a golden walnut there in a bush. We're going to follow this flame up north. So this is the um, it's kind of the north section of the map. And most of the golden walnuts that you hold at the ground, you know, normally they're surrounded by something like that one there was surrounded by pebbles. There's a little hidden entrance you can take here, which gives, gives our next golden walnut. You can actually fish into the water there as well to get a nice surprise. There's a patch of grass here you can fish another golden walnut out of between those two trees. And there's another circle of pebbles here you can get another golden walnut out of. There's a hidden passage down here to the south that we can go into. It'll bring us to a little hidden area. That will award us with another golden walnut. Next up, there's a dirt patch here close to Professor Snell's house that has another golden walnut in it. And just outside the volcano, if we take a left and go up here, or go up this hill, there's another golden walnut from that circle of stones. There's another one here just to the right of the volcano entrance on a bush. And the next one is on a tree, and you actually need a slingshot to get this one. You just have to shoot it down there with the slingshot. There we go. The next one is literally just beside us there, surrounded by stones. We're just going to use our hole. And there we go, there's another easy golden walnut. The next one is you have to go to another secret passage here. You just got to swing around to the left and then go right. And you can get this one from a bush. That gives us a nice total of 14 golden walnuts. So, so far it's easy peasy, pumpkin squeezy. <laughs> you have to get the secret notes with the X's on them to get... I think it's up to three golden walnuts on the map. This is the first one. You also get an ostrich egg from getting this one too, so it's really nice. Without the secret note, if you hold that spot, you get nothing, just to make you aware. So we're going to get a few more gold, golden walnuts here. You just have to take a left when you get into the volcano cave at the very start. It'll bring you down here into this path. Two more golden walnuts here on bushes. We're also going to um, fish up five golden walnuts down here. Now you can fish them up anywhere around the map, but we'll just do it here since uh, we're close to some water. So you can get a maximum of five golden walnuts through uh, strictly fishing. So that is the five fishing golden walnuts done. So now we're going to access a new part of the map. So we're just going to give this parrot here some golden walnuts. We're going to get rid of this turtle for us. And this is going to bring us into the west portion of Ginger Island. There's quite a lot of golden walnuts around here. So these muscle nodes will give us a total amount of five golden walnuts. So you will have to kind of harvest those every couple of days until you get five. There's one just up there. And the reason why you know one is there is because it's kind of in the middle of those three blue stars. The one I got here now to the right also gives me a pearl, but you need a secret note to get that one. The doggy here can be hit with a watering can. If you don't have the upgraded watering can, you can just fill up these holes with tiles uh, until he gets trapped. The one I just got there, I got a quality bobber out of it and another golden walnut. You need a secret note for that one too. One there by Key Secret Walnut Room, but there's actually a well hidden one here to the left of Key Secret Walnut Room. You just gotta swing around and get that one. X marks the spot, gives us another golden walnut. If you kill these tiger slimes, you get another one. Also, bear in mind that if you kill those tiger slimes again, you won't get any more golden walnuts from them. So they only give it to you once when you kill all of them. So I just built the house there so I can sleep here. The next morning, I just went down to the beach there. Bottom left, it's between those four little spots. Another golden walnut. There's one there, you can kind of see it partially behind that tree, it's just on a bush. And there we go, it's a nice easy one. The next one is just up here, and as you can see it's on another bush. So now we're going to go across the bridge, and you're going to see like four flowers here. So it's just in the centre of those four flowers. There's also a hidden path that I'm going to go in here now. And what you do is you go in, you go up and to the right, and you just have to click. Keep clicking then, just to the top right of the screen, until you get it off the bush. 
After this then just go back and just swing around down here to the left and there's another golden wallet on the bush here. After you've gotten that one you can kind of clear away all the debris here and get this one. So that one is well hidden as well. So there's a hidden cave here and there's a little pylon puzzle inside here and you have to match the pylons uh, I think it's four or five times in a row. This is extremely difficult to do and I think it's difficult to do but I'm sure some of you can one shot this no problem. But you get three golden walnuts for completing this puzzle. It took me half the day to do that. <laughs> There's one here inside the pirate ship. That's a total of 42. So I've planted melons, wheat and garlic here for the frog quest. So the frog will inspect melons first, then wheat, then garlic. He gives you five golden walnuts for each crop inspection. That's a total of 15 golden walnuts that we're going to get there in a couple of days. So I went for the... Um, Agriculturist, 10% faster for growth rate, and I also put down the Lux B grow, um, just, just so those crops will grow as quickly as possible. So I got access to the dig site here, I'm just going to blow open the cave there to free Professor Snail. Up the stairs, there's an art, there's a golden walnut here from just holding up that ground. Cross the bridge, another golden walnut just down here, a nice easy one. When you go across the bridge again, just keep going straight, you're going to go through a secret tunnel here, across another bridge. Two more golden walnuts. Very nice indeed. So I panned up an artifact here. That's the fossilized tail that I got. I also got the ribs there from breaking open some, um, you know, bone geodes. I fished up the snake skull. And I also got the fossilized spine as well from the river, from fishing in the river. So what you do now is you just have to sleep and then just get up the next day. Look for artifact spots. You get the mummified frog from sighting open the uh, you know the weeds here on the east side of the island. I get the fossilized legs here from harvesting more bone nodes. So that's two fossilized legs. Clint can break open the golden coconut and you can get the head. And you get the vertebrae then from hoeing around the west side of the island. If you're looking for the bat, the mummified bat, you just gotta mine open a couple of nodes here in the volcano and you can get the bat. Once all artifacts have been assembled, you're going to get a load of gold walnuts from Professor Snell. So that's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And you get two more from doing the survey quests on his wall. So you'll see a little exclamation mark. There's two quests. It's an island sur survey report. And if you answer these surveys correctly, you will get two more golden walnuts from Professor Snell. So you get quite a lot of golden walnuts from Professor Snell by doing his whole question he will also give you an ostrich incubator once you complete the question as well so you can have a really cool ostrich farm so that is the north gem bird that dropped an aquamarine so the aquamarine goes in the north facing pedestal this is the south gem bird and it's going to drop a topaz so the topaz goes in the south facing pedestal this is the east gem bird and it's going to drop a ruby because it's a red one that goes in the east pedestal and this is the emerald gem bird that emerald goes in the west pedestal and that gives us five golden walnuts for completing that puzzle the crops have grown so the frog will inspect the melons first he'll give us five golden walnuts for that he'll also give us five for inspecting the wheat and five for inspecting the garlic we're also going to get five more golden walnuts from farming so you get a maximum of five golden walnuts from the farming profession so you just i don't think you get it from using the site correct me if i'm wrong in the comments as far as i'm concerned you have to pull up the crops like this uh, for a chance to get the golden walnuts because i never actually get any when i cite the way the um the wheat so i'm just harvesting more muscle nodes here just to get the, the, you know the last few golden walnuts i need so i basically sleep for a few days come down into the beach hit open the muscles until i get a total of five so once I get five golden walnuts here, we'll push on then in the, into the next zone. So when you get a golden coconut from a tree, best way to get a golden coconut is to just shake all the trees. Don't cut them down, just shake them every day and you'll get loads. You'll, you're always guaranteed a golden walnut from the first golden coconut. That's an absolute guarantee. So now we are going to explore the volcano and you can actually get a total of 19 golden walnuts in the volcano and they're broken down into the following categories you're going to get five from combat and they can drop from any enemy in the volcano you're going to get five from mining you're going to get five from those dwarvish caches 
I just got one there. You're going to get two from chests. And you're going to get two from the bushes up where the forge is. That's a total of 19. So as you can see, I'm just putting down mega bombs. This is the fastest way to get the mining ones I find. You just put down some bombs and just blow up all the ores. You'll have the five from mining gotten in no time at all. They're a fairly common drop from enemies too, so you'll more than likely get the mining and the fighting ones done very quickly. Um, the chests could take a while depending on how lucky you are when it comes to getting chests. Now you are guaranteed one chest per run. You know, the and I think I think you always get it on floor nine. So I think when you get the very first chest, the golden walnut will pop out of that one for you. That's a guarantee. And as you can see here now, there's two bushes here up in the forge. So you just get, we're just going to get two more here. And that is the volcano finished with. So I'm just going to show you some more footage here. So that there's, there is another chest that's going to walnut and dragon skull boots. Very nice. And there's more from dwarvish, uh, dwarven caches. I think they're called dwarven caches. Sometimes those robots pop out, but they're easy enough to kill. So now we're going to move on. We're going to upgrade the resorts. So we can access the um, the east side here, the beach. So we're going to fish up one. And there's another one here surrounded by four golden stars. Just hold it up out of the ground. Into the pirate's uh, cave. And we can hold one up down at the bottom there. Now we're going to talk to Dart Man. We're going to play a mini game. You can play this three times. Each time you win, you'll get a golden walnut. That's three golden walnuts from the dart game. But every time you win, it gets a little bit harder because it gives you less darts to use to get the score down to zero. It's still manageable, though. It's not too bad. If you go to the beach on a rainy day with six flute blocks, you'll see a mermaid. You have to attune all these flute blocks. I'll leave a note in the description on what you have to do with each one. But you basically need six hearts with Robin to get the recipe to make those. So once you place five flute box, then you can do that puzzle. Next up, we're going to talk to a woman here. She's going to give us a warm memento. We give that to Kent. He gives us a tomato salt. Give that to Gus. And he's going to give us a Stardew Valley Rose. Give that to Sandy. And she's going to give us an advanced TV remote. Give that to George. He's going to give us an Arctic Shard. Give that to the wizard. And he is going to give us a wriggling worm. <laughs> And finally, give that to Willy, and he will give us a pirate's locket. And when you get the pirate's locket, just give that uh, back to the old woman again. And she will give us a recipe for uh, fairy dust, which is really, really nice. It's a nice, nice item. She'll also give us five golden walnuts as well, which is really nice. Next up, grab a banana and bring it to the shrine just outside Leo's house. Just like that. And uh, this gorilla will come out and he will give us three golden walnuts. So the last three are just uh, little spots I missed. So there was a huge rock there. I just hold up the first one. There was one here hidden behind the bush. Hidden behind the hardwood tree. It's a very sneaky one. And there was one just over here then. Um, you know, in the, in the clump of grass. So that's it. That's all 130 golden walnuts for you. Feel free to use this guide as much as you want. If you want to find out where all the golden walnuts are. So I'm going to leave the video there, I hope you enjoyed it. Check out my other videos if you like Stardew Valley content, I have tons of Stardew Valley videos now on the channel. I'll see you in the next video, bye for now.